Well, listen, it, it is no surprise uh, that Donald is throwing yet another temper tantrum, or if you like, yet another trumper tantrum. Uh, it seems his reaction to everything is to throw a fit, to engage in insults, and I understand that Donald finds it very hard to lose. But at the end of the day, the Iowa people spoke. Donald Trump guaranteed a victory in Iowa, and then he lost. You know, he accused the people of Iowa of being stupid. In fact, he skipped the Iowa debate. It makes you wonder if his next step is to accuse the people of New Hampshire of being stupid, if he plans to skip the New Hampshire debate, and after that, if he plans to, to accuse the people of South Carolina of being stupid and skip the South Carolina debate. Listen, this is a job interview. Anyone who wants this job interview needs to come and answer the questions of the men and women of Iowa, of New Hampshire, of South Carolina, and there's a reason that Donald engages in insult after insult because he can't debate the substance. So instead he get, engages in insults. I think the people are interested in substance and record and a positive optimistic Sarah, vision. Sarah, this line of attack, though, he is calling you a cheater. He's calling you a <laughs> fraud. Does this cross the line for you? Oh, listen, it, Donald's insults get more and more hysterical the more and more upset he gets. And that's fine. He can do that. I'm not going to respond in kind. Do you think they're funny? I'm going to... I think they're... I think they're very funny. I think Donald... I wake up every day and laugh at the latest thing Donald has tweeted because he's losing it. Look, we need a commander-in-chief, not a Twitterer-in-chief. I don't know anyone who would be comfortable with someone who behaves this way having his finger on the button. I mean, we're liable to wake up one morning and Donald, if he were president, would have nuked Denmark.